Welcome to episode 497, the story of Wayfair, the Rasha and Steve Conine. This is an outline of episode 497. There are three reasons we study the Rasha and Steve Conine. First, they built the world's largest online furniture store, Wayfair. Second, Wayfair is the biggest tech startup in Boston. Third, Wayfair is started by two cool guys who were friends since high school, Nira Shah and Steve Conine. Let us meet Nira Shah and Steve Conine. Citizens of Boston. I've always kind of had an entrepreneurial zeal. I, I, you know, I had a newspaper route and I had the lawn mowing business. My grandfather was an entrepreneur. He's incredibly smart. He's this, one of the smartest people I've ever met. Neeraj has always been driven to sort of look around the next corner and say, how do we make this thing bigger? You know, the excitement in it is trying to figure out what to do next. That so let me tell you about Steve. So Steve fancies himself as a Renaissance man. So Steve, the, the dining room table in his house, he made himself in his wood shop in Vermont. He and his wife did a 200 mile coast to coast bike race across Costa Rica. The reason he's in a sling is that he's, a, he's actually a very avid mountain biker, which involves breaking his collarbone on occasion. <laughs> and uh, this is Steve carving up ice at, at a lake house he has in Vermont and making furniture out of it. Let us meet a Wayfair online store. Boston has been a phenomenal location for Wayfair. You know, this city has an amazing group of talent. Um, the people here are exceptional. We, I really believe that the, the density of talent and innovators we have in this city, in this region, outstrips anywhere else in the U.S. I'm very bullish on Boston's prospects, uh, partly because of its culture, and partly because of the young people, partly because of its momentum. These are the competitors of Wayfair. Status. Wayfair has to go head to head with rivals like Bed Bath & Beyond, Home Depot, Ikea, and even Amazon. Niraj Shah grew up in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, and Steve Coyne grew up in Vermont. They met each other in Cornell University. So you guys have been partners since all the way back then? Yes. Yeah, like, so, like, how do you actually stand so, so each other like, all of these years? <laughs> <laughs> so we met each other the summer Bef the summer between junior and senior years of high school oh at God. the six-week program at Cornell. Yeah. And then we coincidentally ended up three rooms apart on our freshman year floor in uh, Sperry, which doesn't exist anymore, but it was one of the U-Hauls on West Campus. And, and then we were friends for four years, and then we started a business together, and now this is, we're on our third business together, but we, yeah, we worked together for... Uh, in 1995, they both graduated as engineering major at Cornell University. Uh, so uh, we went to Cornell, we were 95, um, as Zach mentioned. Neeraj and I took an entrepreneurship class the last uh, semester at Cornell, which was uh, Professor Ben Daniel uh, was, a, was, a, was a professor of it. He was Entrepreneurship 300, or I forget what the exact number. So we, uh, so in those so days it was 300. It was actually just walking through the lobby here. It was, it was very nostalgic, because I, you know, you I see there's a bunch of students have put together uh, business ideas. I, we did the exact same thing, and we got a little carried away with the research. Uh, we'd go down in Ithaca, New York, and basically pitch the businesses in town here to try to sell them what we thought, our idea, and by the time we graduated, we had a, a business. This is our original team, so you can see we were, we were both. Um, <laughs> one of the other things that we kind of felt out about between the two of us over the early years was just our different skills. So coming out of Cornell, our first company, Neeraj, was going to be the software engineer and I was going to be the sales and marketing guy. We get into it about a month in, and we realize we have it reversed. That, you know, it turns out Neeraj is, is very industrious, um, uh, and, and, and he's, he's a hard worker, kind of, but more on the intellectual stuff. I tend to be more like the problem du jour, physical, like I, my mother was a farmer. I was raised doing a lot of physical labor. And, I, you know, I'm willing to kind of just get right into it and solve the problems today. It For the first nine years, CSN Stores, the company they co-founded was a private company. The rebranding of Wayfair began in 2012. Well, um, we started Wayfair back in 2002, myself and Neeraj Shah. Uh, it was called CSN Stores for the first nine years of its life. Uh, we rebranded it as Wayfair just two years ago. We subsequently have shut down all our microsites and we've redirected all that traffic over the course of 12 months into just Wayfair. And then 12 months ago, 
So about just over a year ago now, we started doing uh, kind of a big TV advertising brand push to make the world know who Wayfair is. Uh, Wayfair went IPO in September 2014 and raised $319 million. Wayfair exploited only 1% of the market of online home furnishing. So the, the thing about this business, what I mentioned earlier, you know, you should do something that's fun. Well, this business is, I think, a ton of fun. We still have a ton of fun. We have a great team that's fun to work with. And then the opportunity, despite the fact that we've had some good success, we've grown to be decent sized. We're, we're a six billion dollar company, you know, five, six billion run rate growing at around 40 percent. And the reason that's possible is our end market is minimum 600 billion in U North America and Europe probably more like a trillion if you add some of the markets that aren't in the clean 600 billion. So at 6 billion, with the amount of change the internet is having, it's still super early days. Yeah. And we, we maybe have 1% or less than 1% market share. So, you know, to me, this is, I, I don't think about doing something. Celebrate the small wins every day. Thoughts are... I'm really excited to see some of the, some of the, uh, the projects that the teams are presenting today, personally. And I mean, when you, if you're getting into a business, you know, small, I would encourage you to be excited about the small wins along the way. You know, at some point, you, I mean, obviously, we're a big company today, but, you know, we used to think that a $100 day was like a big day. And, you know, your $100 days turn into $1,000 days, turn into $10,000 days, turn into $1 million days. And it takes a long time, but, like, celebrate the small stuff along the way. What have I learned today? Two things. First, Wayfair was started in 2002 by two Cornell University engineering students who have been friends since high school. Second, Niraj Shah, the CEO of Wayfair, said it's just exploiting 1% of the total online home furnishing business. Watch out, Home Depot! Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Nira Shah and Steve Conai, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.